Good morning and welcome to lesson two in science. Now, yesterday we talked about different types of light sources. So I think we ended with, we've got something like a torch that creates light and is, this one is battery powered, which heats up to light the filament inside it. And we've also got a different form of light. Um, a candle that creates light through heat. So there are different types of light sources. Um, what I would like you to do today is to create a Venn diagram. Firstly, what I want you to do is come up with as many different light sources as you can. So have a little think with mum and dad or your adult and have a think about how many things you can think of that create light or are light sources. Now be careful with this because there are some tricky ones um, that might not be easily classified. So when you've come up with your list of things, so you, you could start with, obviously we've got the torch, we've got candles, we've got fire, there are different light sources um, that naturally occur in the sky. And I'm sure if you just look around your house, you'll see di lots of different ways that light is created in your house. So what I would like you to do is come up with a big long list of as many different light sources as you can. And then we need to make a distinction between what kind of light sources they are. So we're going to create a Venn diagram. So just on paper at home, take a picture of it, send it to your teachers, absolutely fine, rather than using Google Docs for this one because I think this is much more of a kind of hands-on one, having a little think with your parents. Okay, so you wanna create a Venn diagram. Now a Venn diagram is two big circles and they overlap in the middle. So this one, we will call this one natural and this one human made. And so what I want you to do is create a Venn diagram for me with different light sources in there. So if we've got the first two I've got. So this one, I've got a torch. Now is this going to be a naturally occurring light source or is this going to be a human made light source? Now it's made of metal. It's got batteries inside it. So I think it's pretty easy to decide that this one is going to be into the human made one. So we'd put a torch in there. And I don't even mind if you decide that you want to draw your torch. Okay. And then you could write torch in there. Then we've got the second one. So this is a candle. Now this is probably a bit trickier. And you'll have to decide for yourself what this one is. Because it's made of glass. It's filled with wax. It's got a wick in the middle. And then it's got fire, which I made using a lighter. And you'll have to have a think of whether this goes into natural, whether it goes into human made, or maybe you think it might even go into both because maybe it's human made and naturally occurring. You'll have to decide for yourself. I'm really excited to see what you guys come up with. Do make sure you've got a list. Now I think you could probably with your mum and dad um, or adult come up with at least 10 to 15 different light sources from mobile phones to computers to televisions to the headlights on your car. Um, then you've got ones that occur naturally in um, space and in the sky. And I think you can come up with a list of at least 10 to 15. And then if you'd look, I'd really like it if you could classify them into human made or natural or whether you think they're both and I'm fascinated to see what you guys come up with. Thank you very much, and that's lesson two for science. Thank you, bye-bye.